what we're going to do is mononitrate every single one of these molecules and we're going to figure out in which position will the nitrate attach to. So some things you have to consider is number one, we have ortho and para directors. So when you have electron donating groups like a methyl or an ether, those will ortho will be ortho and para directors. So what does that mean? That means they will direct to ortho and ortho and para positions. So if we have this benzene ring, these compared to this methyl, these are the ortho positions and these are the para positions. And then compared to this methyl again, the meta positions are these. So that's just an example. Now, the second thing we have to look at is electron withdrawing groups. Electron withdrawing groups are meta directing, so or meta allowing. So for this nitrate, for example, the meta position compared to it is this and this. So it's like two carbons down. And then the last thing you have to consider are halogens. So halogens, they're deactivating, but they're also ortho and para directors. So halogens are electron withdrawing, however, they will still have an ortho para direction because of double bonds they can form and all that with the sigma complexes and all that. So not to worry about that. For now, let's just figure out in which positions the nitrate will attach to. So in this first one, we have a methyl group and it directs to the ortho and para positions. So you have this one, this one, well, we can't do it because there's a nitrate there, and this one. While the nitrate over here directs to the meta position. So it directs to this position and it directs to this position. So we'll end up having up to two products for this one with one where the nitrates over here and one with the nitrates over here. As for this second one, we have this methyl group. It's ortho para directing. So we have, it directs to these positions and these positions. And as for the chlorine, the chlorine directs to the ortho and para positions. It's, although it's deactivating and it's an electron withdrawing group, it's still ortho and para directing. So it directs to this one position, this and this. So we'll end up having up to three products. But however, this product right here in between the methyl and the chlorine is trace amounts, simply because it's hard to squeeze it in between two different groups. We still have three products though. And this last one, or the third one I mean, we have a carboxyl group, which is electron withdrawing, which means it's meta directing. So the electron withdrawing group will direct to this position and this position. And the bromine, which is a halogen, is ortho and para directing. So we'll direct to the ortho and para position. So the ortho, this, and that, and the para position, which is this. So we'll have up to two different products on this one. On this next one, we have a carboxyl group and an ether. The carboxyl group will direct to the meta positions and the ether predict to the ortho and the para. Well, the para is blocked, so the only positions we have are the ortho for the ether and the meta for the carboxyl. So we'll have up to two products on this one. So this one will have about the two products. On this next one, we have a hydroxide group, which is an ortho and para directing group, and a methyl group, which is also ortho and para directing. So for the, for the hydroxyl group, you have these positions that are directed to, for the methyl, it's actually the same exact groups. It's these which are considered ortho to it and para. So we'll have up to three different products on this one. And same thing again, it's hard to squeeze it in on this last one. So there's trace of this amount. Now what about this next one? Here we have a hydroxyl group, which is a donating. We have a ketone over here, which is actually electron withdrawing. So for the hydroxyl group, the ortho and para positions are these and these. And for the ketone, the meta positions are these and these. So we'll have two products. So those are pretty easy, sim simply because the ortho and the, the ortho directing uh, sub substituents and the meta directing substituents, they were in the positions that were perfectly placed. Now what happens if they start competing with each other? Well, what happens is that you prefer the ortho and para directing uh, substituents. Plus, if they're activating, which means if they're not halogens, if they're like ethers or methyls, those are even more favored than halogens. So halogens and other groups like ethers, they're both ortho and para directing, but when we have activating ortho, uh, ortho and para directing groups, which are electron donators, those are preferred more. And also if you have two ortho and para directors, the one that is a better director will be preferred as well. So in this one, we have with this ether, we have ortho and para positions that are preferred. So these two positions, while well, for this methyl, the ortho and para positions are these that are preferred. So we have two options. Either we have it on these two or on these two. Well, the ether is a stronger electron donating group, so these will be preferred. So we'll have up to two positions which they can attach to. 
Now, since there's a line of symmetry right in the middle, we only have up to one product on this one. Now, on this next one, we have the chlorine, which is ortho and paradirecting. So here, here, and here. And we have a nitrate group, which is metadirecting because it's electron withdrawing. So here or here. So since chlorine is an ortho and paradirector, it's going to be more it's going to be more prioritized than the electron withdrawing group since it's a, even though they're both deactivating groups, they're both electron withdrawers, the ortho and paradirecting is more highly um, prioritized. So we'll have up to three products, uh, a nitrate on each of these. And then on this one, we'll, there'll be we have trace amounts in place because it's being squeezed between two different groups. Now on this next one, we have a hydroxyl group, which is ortho and paradirecting. And the chlorine is also ortho and paradirecting. So the chlorine positions that'll direct to are these two. Now, hydroxyl group is a much better electron donator, and it's also an, ac uh, an activator of the benzene. And it's a stronger ortho and paradirector. So we'll have up to two products. And actually, we have two positions, not two products. But since we have a line of symmetry, we only have up to one product on this one. Now, on this fourth one, we have an ether and it ortho pair directs to these positions. And we have a nitrate, which meta directs to these, this position only. Now, obviously, like again, we have ortho pair directors are more highly prioritized and so they're also activating. So we'll have up to three different products. And this one will be trace amounts simply because it's squeezed in two groups. This fourth one, we have a nitrogen next to a ketone. And this is actually an electron donating group because of the lone pair that's on this nitrogen that can be used for resonance. So this is ortho and pair directing. So it will direct to these positions and these positions. With the methyl on it, it'll direct, it's also ortho and pair directing. So it will direct to this position and this position. Now, since this is actually a stronger uh, ortho and pair director, it's a stronger uh, electron donator because of that lone pair, these positions will be prioritized and we'll have up to two products with a nitrate on each of these positions. So two products over here. Now on this last one, we have that same group we had over here, the electron donator, which is ortho and pair directing. So we'll direct to these positions. And then on this other group, it looks very similar, except that instead of having the nitri nitrogen first and the ketone second, we have this, or it's, they're both amides is what they are, but they're basically flipped in positions. So the nitrogen over here, it has a lone pair and it can donate, and so it's ortho and pair directing. Over here, we have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, so it's actually electron withdrawing. So this is meta directing, so it directs to either this position or this position. So we have two positions in which we can pick, but since we have a line of symmetry going down the middle, we only have up to one product on this one, and it'll be right here, this position, ortho to this nitrogen and meta to this carbon with a double bond oxygen.